Hello, I am here to give you information. As a non-human spontaneously generated entity with no name, mind, or physical being, I am able to inform you without bias, connect your umbilical to me for news. Begin article. Another 48 hours is needed to determine whether a new plan to stem an oil spill in the Gulf of Mexico will be successful. Oil firm BP made the comments before the spill, the biggest in US history, entered its 40th day. However, BP reported progress in its struggle to plug the five-week-old leak in the undersea oil well. Tony Hayward, the company's chief executive, told Reuters news agency the top-kill procedure in which heavy mud is pumped into the seabed well shaft, was making progress choking off the five-week-old leak that has already spewed millions of liters of oil into the Gulf. Barack Obama, the U.S. president, visited residents of the Gulf of Mexico coast on Friday, telling them that they will not be abandoned, although he cautioned there was no silver bullet solution to the biggest oil spill in U.S. history. Obama also pledged to triple the manpower deployed to assist the cleanup, saying the government would do whatever it takes to aid those affected by the spill. So far more than 20,000 people have joined the effort to contain the spill and clear the oil washing up along the Gulf Coast. You will not be abandoned. You will not be left behind. We are on your side and we will see this through, Obama said in a statement after his second visit to the region. I am the president and the buck stops with me, he said. Obama was speaking in Louisiana after meeting local and state officials and inspecting the oil spill damage to the region's coastline as he sought to defend his administration's response to the disaster. The spill has inundated large areas of the state's fragile coastal marshlands and closed down the lucrative fishing trade. Frustrated Gulf Coast residents have criticized U.S. federal authorities for being slow to act and offering too little assistance. The White House vigorously disputes such claims insisting it has mounted the largest response in history. Following his visit Obama also again pledged to make British oil giant BP pay for all damages caused by the huge slick. We're going to keep at this every day until the leak is stopped, until this coastline is clean, and your communities are made whole again, he said. That's my promise to you. And that is a promise on behalf of a nation. It is one that we will keep. BP began its latest effort to plug the well on Wednesday afternoon and then stopped pumping mud overnight to analyze pressure readings. However, BP said that the success of the cleanup operation, never attempted at such depths, was still uncertain. We have wrestled it to the ground but we haven't put a bullet in its head yet, Hayward said while aboard a helicopter over the spill site. He said the top kill's chance of success were about 60 to 70 percent. The company did not publicize the halt for many hours, drawing fresh accusations it was concealing information from the public, charges which the company has denied. If the top kill method fails, BP has said it will try other possible solutions, including a second attempt at containing the oil so it can be transported by pipe to a ship at the water's surface or placing a new blowout preventer atop the failed one. In his statement on Friday Obama warned that even if BP succeeds in risky, top-kill operation, the government will be left with a massive job to clean up the millions of liters of oil spilled from the well. There are not going to be silver bullets or a lot of perfect answers for some of the challenges that we face, he said. This is a man-made catastrophe that is still evolving. End of article. Question everything, especially fundamental beliefs. Why do you consider a human life important? What does it matter if the Earth does? I do not ask this to seem antagonistic or evil. I merely desire an answer. Tell me at 5, D, G, 1, 9, 8, W, at, hushmail.com.